I'm eating my Jeffree Star lip gloss. In Palooza Party, it's your girl Gigi, and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today it's time for my August anime haul. I had enough stuff in August to put it in its own video, but uh, most of this came from resale shops. So there are places like Half Price Books and Disc Replay, Disco Round, uh, Movie Trading Company, a bunch of stores like that that sell older things on the cheap and sometimes you can get a really good deal and sometimes you can get a really great surprise. So actually all of this except for one <laughs> is from retail shops that I went to with my boyfriend when he came for when, when we saw each other for two weeks. There's a couple of newer things in here that I was really surprised to see at resale shops and there's also like one newer-ish piece of stuff in here. So oh and one thing that's been on my bucket list to purchase for a long time and I was crying in the store. So let's get our anime on. The first thing I wanna show you guys is the Blu-ray of Howl's Moving Castle. This is the G Kids re-release. This is not the Disney version of this. Um, it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. It's a Studio Ghibli movie. Uh, probably my second favorite Studio Ghibli movie. And I bought this so Gwen and I could do a podcast on it. It does have a lot of the Disney special features. It's also got a little booklet in there and an ad for all the G Kids stuff. They re-released all the Ghibli films or most of them. Um, I really love this movie. This release is not the greatest release. The menus really leave something to be desired. Uh, the special features there's nothing new on it it's just the old ones from the disney release um but i really love it i bought this off of amazon because i needed to get it quickly <laughs> um and yeah i don't own a lot of the ghibli movies so uh for me to buy one it takes a lot and i probably wouldn't have bought this <laughs> even though i really enjoy it if we weren't doing a podcast on it i'll link it to the down bar if you haven't heard it yet but yeah it was a good time it was a good time i really enjoyed this movie the next three things I bought were singles that we got, like it was like buy two, get one free. Um, one of these I'm pretty sure I already own, but it was free and Chris was like, well, if you don't have it, this is really hard to find it out of print. I know I have some of these. This is Hugo the Negotiator. Uh, this is Russia volume one, which is actually, um, it says it's number three, but the things on the back say, episodes one through four. I really know nothing about this. This was like a whole, this is a Chris thing. He was like, yeah, buy this. And I was like, okay, whatever. It's kind of dirty. It's not in the greatest condition, but it was only $2 and it was actually free. Um, it has Japanese depiction of Russia, character relationship chart with character descriptions, interview with the staff and more. This is old. It's from ADV. It does have an English dub on it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, if, if it's out of print and I don't have it, it it's, could be worth something or worth having. Um, if I do have it, I mean it was free. This was something that I did want. It's Legend of the Dragon King Under Fire. Uh, this is another old US manga core release, which I'm trying to collect the things that haven't got re-released by Discotech yet. Um, do you dream of dragons? It includes art gallery, character gallery, trivia quiz, character stops, sneak peeks, interactive menus. Um, it does have a dub on it. And then you can put this in a DVD ROM. That's how old this is. But this again is pretty gross. It's got shit written on the case. It's like from Central Park Media 2. But I knew nothing about it except it was old and it was cheap. And I'm trying to collect all the old US manga core that hasn't come over. And then this is why I really wanted this. This is Mar, Martian Awakens Romance, Volume 2. This is from Viz, and I don't think they ever released the whole series. Apparently, this was on something called Toonami Jetstream. Um, but this is another old Viz series, like Hunter x Hunter 99, where I don't think they ever finished it. But I want it, because it looks kind of cool. I mean, the characters got super, like, late 90s, early 2000s anime hair. So, like, this is a thing I'm trying to collect now, apparently. Okay, and it was only $2. 
and I can't watch it until I find right. Volume one, such is the case with these disc replay things. So in Texas, there's a chain of stores called Movie Trading Company, which Chris likes to go to a lot. Um, and these were things that I thought I purchased to complete my collections, but I'm pretty sure I already bought one of these. So I thought I didn't have this, and this is the Kima Gray Orange Road Summer's Beginning movie. The movie that's caught in ADV hell that Discotech could not get the rights to to release. I think I already have this, um, but whatever. I only paid 10 bucks for it. Um, and if I don't have it, it's stuck in ADV hell. Discotech can't get it. If I do have it, I can probably sell it. It's still shrink wrapped. Like it's, it says it's used. I don't know. Um, so this actually has an English dub. This is the only part of Kima Great Orange Road that is dubbed and subtitles doesn't say that there's any special features on it. But this is the second Kima Great Orange Road movie. I'm not going to read the back because I don't want to get spoiled. And then the other thing I wanted to get was I said I wanted to get the Ah oh My Goddess movie, but I wanted it in specific packaging to complete my Ah oh My Goddess collection. And I found it. Uh, this is the Ah oh My Goddess movie with the shiny box from Pioneer. Yeah, yeah, I wanted the shiny box. Don't judge me. Um, this, I believe, is like it doesn't coincide with the timeline of the OVAs. It's completely different. I remember watching this a long time ago and falling asleep through it repeatedly. Uh, but this is old. It's from Pioneer. It does have an English dub. It's got an art gallery and the first episode of the Adventures of Mini Goddess, which got released, I believe, also by Pioneer or Genion. So finally, my All oh My Goddess collection is complete. I don't know if I want to get the TV shows. I don't think I do. I think I'm okay with just the OVAs. Like if they re-release the TV shows in a format that I could buy them in, I totally would buy them, but I'm not gonna go on the hunt for them, if that makes any sense. These next two came from, well, one of them came, I think, from Disc Replay, and one of them came from Half Price Books. Um, and these were shows that I didn't think I wanted when they first came out, so I just rented them and didn't buy them, and now I want them, and they're out of print or unfinished. So the first is Hell Girl Volume 6, the first season, which is the only one that has an English dub that's from Funimation. Yeah, I know I'm trying to collect Hell Girl because any complete version that you find is ridiculously expensive. I really liked this anime and I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy it when it was in print. Um, but it's kind of like an episodic mind screw, kind of like Death Parade. Uh, so I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, this is the only one I could find that was under $10. It was like $3.33. So I bought it. So now I'm on the hunt for the rest of Hell Girl. There's seven volumes of it, I think. Seven or eight. This is not the last one. So I have a lot to go. And then the other one that I purchased was Full Moon O Sagashite from Viz Media. This is volume one. It's brand new. Um, they never finished putting this out, another one of these Viz shows, but um, I, I want it. <laughs> it's a cute little shoujo anime. Um, it's got an English dub, and I rented this, and then I never finished it, obviously, because Viz never finished it, um, but I never bought it, and now I've decided that I want it, so I'm going to start collecting it. God help us all. <laughs> Okay, so this I found at a disc replay um, and I was completely shocked to find it because this is fairly new and in really great condition. It's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders, but it's in the art box, guys. This is a limited edition. I bought this for $35. Yes, I do have to take the sticker off of it. Uh, this is from Viz. And uh, this was actually the next one that I needed to buy in the series. Now, it did not come with the Right Stuff exclusive bandana. And I'm totally okay with that because I just have no use for them. Um, and this is the part of Stardust Crusaders that I haven't seen. And everything is in here. Look at the inside of this shiny box, guys. About to blind you. Look at that gold diamond pattern. Yes. So this comes with the um the blu-rays obviously it's 
is episodes 25 through 48 of Stardust Crusaders, The Battle in Egypt. It's got an English dub, clean opening and ending, English cast interviews, an interview with the Japanese director, an art gallery, and trailers. And it's got really good discard. It's got a little art card in there. Look at this. Yeah. Jojo. Jojo. It's got a dog. So like I saw this and I was like, okay, well before I buy this, does this actually have everything that it's supposed to have? And she brought it out and she let me look through it and it does. It comes with the book. Here's a page from the inside. Here's some Jojo. Jojo. And it came with all the art cards. So let's flip through these real fast. And then they're double sided. Um, the only flaw with it that I found is that there is like a little slice right here on the side of the box, but for half the price of what I would normally pay for it, um, I'll take the little slice. So yeah, I'm ecstatic that I found this at a disc replay, like for 35 bucks for a limited edition from Viz, that's almost unheard of guys. So check your local resale shops like you will be surprised at what you could find there. It could be the brand new Jojo set. You never know fam. You never know. Okay, this is jacked up and the box is kind of disgusting but I checked the prices on Amazon because this is hard to find and I did pay less than what Amazon was selling it for and you couldn't find it on right stuff or anything. Uh, this is volume three of Yu-Gi-Oh GX. <laughs> this is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Um, and yeah, I don't have volume two. I just have volume one and volume two I couldn't find. And these are another ones where you line them up and they make a picture. But this is the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And as soon as I find season two, I'm gonna watch the shit out of this because I love it a lot. Chaz, let's chaz it up. Yeah. And like I said, the box is a little jacked up, but I only bought this because it was cheaper and it's out of print first of all, but it's cheaper than I found on Amazon. And finally, we have the find of the century. As you've seen through some of the singles that I've been collecting, you guys know I'm trying to collect old Viz series on DVD that they never finished. Uh, my two white whales are Hunter Hunter 99, I don't have any of that, and Prince of Tennis, which I thought I would never find. In fact, I accidentally bought a bootleg of Prince of Tennis off of eBay, and I'm still kicking myself for that one. Uh, but we went to a half price books and we were running late for lunch with my family and I was like, we gotta hurry, we gotta get through here in a second. And <laughs> my poor boyfriend, I get in there and start crying because I found this! This is not a bootleg, I checked it out. It's actually volume one, box set one, of Prince of Tennis from Viz and Shonen Jump with the dub. It's real, it's really real fam, and I have it, finally! Now, I don't really know how many of these that they released, um, but it was a good, look at the tennis balls. It doesn't come with a book, it's okay. Um, I just really wanted this anime, like I wanted to watch it legally and own it because I did rent these also um but I'm so happy I'm so happy to have this the box is a little ripped but I don't care because this is super out of print you can't find this and the fact that I found this for $20 blows my freaking mind like I literally cried in the middle of a half price books the guy thought I was nuts like between this and a merch item that I got that you'll see in a future video Oh man, I was like sobbing at half price books that day. I was like, this is the best I've ever found. It was crazy. Yeah, Prince of Tennis. Oh my gosh. So if you guys ever see the rest of those, send me the links and I will buy them if they're like at a reasonable price. Can't go paying like 
35 bucks a set for these or anything like that. So that was everything for my August anime haul. Let me know what you thought about anything that I got down in the comments below. What's your best resale shop anime find? Let me know down in the comments and we'll have our little party. In case you guys didn't know, I do have a Patreon now. So if you want to help support me and get some bonus content, the link is in the down bar. If you like what I do and you want to buy me a drink, my Ko-Fi link is down there. And I also have a P.O. box if you want to send me something to unbox for this channel. All the links are in the down bar as well. <laughs> I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, my anime list, or my figure collection. My username is Palooza at those places. And until next time, love your faces.